I'm really gonna bring out the Wrecking Ball strategy. I'm gonna swing back and forth like Spider-Man, just having a heyday, knocking them back and forth. And look at this, it's just, they really don't know. They don't know how to counter it. They don't know what to do here. They're falling apart. What's going on everyone? Romper McJohnson here, back with another video. So on the memeing with Roadhog video, we had the boy Hevzy say, please hamster. So since you were such a gentleman, Hevzy, and you asked so nicely, today we're gonna be memeing with the fuzzy boy. We're gonna be memeing with my boy Hammond. Uh, now I, I have next to no experience playing Hammond. I played him yesterday when I was streaming and that's pretty much is the extent of my experience with him. So I don't know too much about him. I can go and do a little ball. He can poop out mines. He can shoot his Gatling guns. But when you're memeing with Hammond, uh, you want to never leave your ball. You want to always stay in your ball at all times. You want to never use your guns. Because when I was a kid, I had a mice and guinea pigs. And they like to roll around in balls. They never once used a gun. Doesn't make sense for hamsters to use guns. Don't get started on the fact that he's in a robot. Someone else probably built it for him. And I don't think a hamster has the capability to either use guns or build themselves a robot. So it's pretty much just a highly advanced ball that he plays around in. I never had a hamster, but my friend had a hamster. And he was a little asshole. He bit the shit out of me every time I tried to pick them up. So hamsters sometimes are cool, most of the time they're assholes. But uh, yeah, we're just gonna stay in the ball and roll around and have a good old time. That's how we're gonna be memeing with Hammond today. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get into it. First thing you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna queue as a tank because Hammond is a tank character. I don't know how a uh, hamster got a tank roll, but you know, it's what he does. So here we are in Coliseo. Now Coliseo should be all right to meme with Hammond because Hammond has a grappling hook. It hooks onto things and makes him go real fast. He can boot people, he can slam his little ball down. For our team, we do have a Moira, a Lucy, Lucio, a Genji, and an Echo. I think Lucio is a really good pick on our team because Lucio makes us go faster and Hammond, when he's rolling around in his ball, likes to go fast. So he should be able to make some good plays uh, using his ball to our advantage. We're just going to go in and cause some havoc here. We're going to roll around in our ball, you know, just kind of make them see if we can get them to shoot at us because we, we don't really need to do much other than just roll around in front of them, maybe absorb some shots, use our grapple hook to grapple onto the wall and then pile drive them. And just run into him, cause some damage, but you know, never leave the ball. Never ever leave the ball. You can use your pile driver to kind of toss him up into the air. Then you can just kind of roll around. Hammond does go pretty fast. Now they did stop my momentum by getting in front of me. You can't really prevent that. And if they're aware that you're trying to have fun in your ball, they're going to try to stop your fun. Uh, people on the enemy team normally when you're playing Overwatch don't like you to have fun. They really want to prevent you from being able to have fun. Now I did get a good slam right there and they are trying to take me out because they do realize the danger that I present with my ball. The way that I'm tossing them up, the way that I'm disrupting their game really starts to worry them. And there we go, we got the Genji with our ball. As you can see, if you just start rolling around using your grapple hook, eventually you're gonna get a kill because someone's gonna be bad enough to get hit by it. Worked out really well there. Now our team is finally pushing them back and that's really because we're rolling around in our ball. We're just, we're distracting them. And our team is finally able to push the point. So we're gonna stay in the front lines and just kind of be distracting while our team pushes the robot. And we're gonna roll up these stairs and see what we can make happen here. Try to draw their fire away from everyone else. Knock them up in the air, and maybe we can even poop out some mines. Now we do have a hurt Genji and a hurt Sojourn, and we did give some zoning. So one great thing about Hammond's ult is that it does zone the enemy team. And we did get a kill right there. Not sure how I made that happen, but it did happen. These kills, like I said, happen without you even trying. I'm not allowing them to push the robot because I'm in my ball. I'm being annoying. I'm waiting for my team to back, get back, giving them time to sort of get back here and then getting a slam pile driver off to kill the Kiriko. That was a real good play. Now the Roadhog did get us, but with the momentum, killing that Kiriko with my pile driver, my team should really be able to start pushing the robot again. You can see we do have a significant lead on the enemy team. We almost have doubled the distance. We're gonna knock him up in the air, do a little bit of disruption here. Hammond is exceptional at just disrupting the enemy team, confusing them. And really they think I don't know how to play because I haven't left my ball a single time. And I gotta tell you, I'm having a good time. This is a lot of fun. It's almost like playing Super Monkey Ball over watch edition and you can just kind of bowl right into him like I did right there that was real good it's like we're playing bowling the enemy team is trying to take me out but they're just not able to make it happen so we're just going to knock him up in the air and then roll away wait for our E to come back and do the same exact thing again now if our support finally gets here we might be able to make something happen uh, we are also going to poop mines out at them right now because we're in the back line and we're able to do a little bit of zoning you can see we picked up a kill we picked up the Kiriko the Genji was able to take us out but it was about time we got taken out because we just weren't dying now our team should be able to hold on long enough for me to stay in my ball and kind of roll back to them and there we go they did it see they are kind of good the power of friendship is strong with them yeah, they saw that I was dead. When the hamster dies, they get real sad. It's just like when you're a kid, when your pet hamster dies, you're not happy about it. So they weren't happy about me dying, but it really gave them the motivation that they needed to push the enemy team back into their place. 
Now you can see every bullet that they shoot at me is a wasted bullet that they're not shooting at my team. Booping people with Hammond, there's nothing really like it. It's one of the most satisfying things you can do. So right here, they are in the spawn, so we're gonna see if we can distract them a little bit. See if we can boop them back. Just kind of roll around, be distracting, be a nuisance, keep them occupied, make them waste their time, and boop them back. And there we go. We did get another kill, so that was pretty good. We haven't gotten many heals as Hammond. Our heals are kind of, they're kind of dropping the ball with healing Hammond, but that's okay, because, you know, we're coming back stronger than ever. We do have a May who's freezing and that's always good because when may freezes them they're not going to move so you can see in the back line here we were able to get a good knock up there and if there's a roadhog you want to do your best to avoid the grapple because if he grapples you you're not able to roll around in your hamster ball hammond's going to be real sad your team's going to be sad no one's going to be happy our team's doing a good job trying to keep up the pace trying to distract them and i'm just going to keep rolling around drawing their fire doing what i can here and then try to get some air so i can get a good knock up off and we were able to get a decent knock up off they might be able to take us out there because may did have her alt not too much we can do that's probably the hardest counter there is to Hammond is since he's so mobile with his ball and he can go so fast there they really want to stop that momentum they want to stop that movement so here we are in the front line we're going to do a knock up and then we're just going to poop out our minds again it is a good time to poop out our minds and we did get a kill there we got two kills because we pooped out our minds behind the wall to kind of stack them up that was a real good play right there if they're grouped up just kind of pop your minds out and see if you can kill them because they're bound to run into some of them at some point oh man we got our ball stuck right here this will happen sometimes if there's a may be careful not to get stuck so we're just gonna go in front of this, uh, go in front of this Roadhog, kind of annoy him, make him try to waste some shots on us, that way he's not attacking our team, and it did work out pretty well there. We got a pile driver, and we did get another pile driver kill. That's a lot of that's a lot of pile drive damage. We're gonna see how well we're doing right now. 3,808 damage, 2,800 mitigated, 11 and 5. So we're actually doing really good. As you can see, we haven't left the ball a single time. You can see why now. If you didn't understand my reasoning before, surely it all makes sense now. Now we are at the last 50 seconds of the game, and we do have triple the distance on our robot compared to their robot. You can see our plays here really working out. The meme Hammond plays just really are probably some of the best plays you could do. Meme Hammond really is some something else here and he's a lot of fun this is probably some of the most fun that i've had so we're just gonna wrecking ball back and forth here one good thing about coliseo is that you can shoot your grapple hook onto the ceiling and then just kind of go back and forth like an actual wrecking ball uh because he when he speeds up like this you can just sort of hit them back and forth that's one thing i didn't want to do in the beginning because i wanted to give them a chance but now that we're at the end of the game i'm really going to bring out the wrecking ball strategy i'm going to swing back and forth like spider-man just having a heyday knocking them back and forth i came in like a and look at this, it's just they really don't know, they don't know how to counter it. They don't know what to do here, they're falling apart. And that's what really is good with Hammond, you know, you're making them nervous, you're making them second guess themselves. And we're gonna pile drive them while we can, and then just poop out mines to stop their forward momentum. They're gonna try to move forward, but we did get their Roadhog, we got another kill, and uh, we should be able to stop their push right here. If our plan goes well, we should be able to knock them up, and our team can come up here to finish off the Mei, possibly. Mei did blow her ult, and she did go Bing Chao Lilo, but, you know, she can't Bing Chao Lilo forever. Well, there we go, we did get the dub, and that was easy peasy. So we got a dub pretty easily there, uh, pretty outstanding stuff you can do when your memeing is Hammond. We'll do a second game, in case you were doubting the power of meme Hammond. All right, so here we are in Midtown on our second game, and Midtown should be a pretty decent map for us to meme with Hammond. There's a lot of opportunity to grapple onto things and to smack people with our pile driver. Now, one thing you can notice about Hammond is he has very eerie eyes. He has very soulless, completely black eyes. If you look into his eyes for too long, you'll really get lost in the throes of despair. So you don't want to be looking at his eyes too often. So that last game went really well, but I think with this game, we can really embrace our inner Aaron Jaeger and uh, really go full on attack on Titan on them. Grab Grapple onto buildings and slam down with some furious force. We're gonna grapple and bowl right into him, then just kind of move around and make him guess where we are. They do have a Tjorborn, that could cause some problems for us. Hopefully one of our DPS takes him out. Now you can see they're getting distracted. They're trying to shoot at us, but they're just, they're not doing a very good job of it. Uh, they're kind of missing us and our team is dying. Our Lucio went right up ahead there. He, he went right up ahead without any backup from the rest of the team, but we're gonna go in here. We're gonna get a massive pile driver and we're able to take the Mercy out. We're gonna go back to our Mercy and hope that she heals us. She does notice that I'm very hurt and she is starting to heal me. Hanzo is back there trying to shoot our team cause some havoc so we're gonna boop them off we're gonna try to get a pile driver there we did get an assist for our soldier 76 so that was really good so me and soldier 76 were able to keep up the pressure enough to get the point uh we're gonna go just run head first at them and, and keep them distracted buy our team some time see what we can do here maybe poop out some mines and there we go we did poop out some mines on top of them and there we go we did get the kiriko kill kiriko really crumbles to the pressure of hammond we did a really good play we kept them zoned uh we gave our team the time that they needed to push the payload forward a little bit here now we're just gonna get back in their face and we're just gonna try to draw their attention see 
they are trying to kill me and this is what we want. We want them to be so distracted with killing us that they totally forget that they're supposed to be stopping the payload. And you can see it's working out. We just have to keep getting in front of them, giving our other DPS the opportunity to attack. And they are doing exactly that. We're going to use our E and we're going to try to absorb that stun for our team. And that was a great play right there. I was able to let them keep on pushing forward. I was able to assist that Soldier 76 in getting those two kills there. There we go. He did get the triple kill. That was 100% because of me. Now, because Hammond has ball form, he is pretty good on the payload because he's hard to hit when he is going back and forth like this. The Torborn did splooge his nut all over the ground, but we don't have a problem with that because we're just going to zoom forward, get up in the air, and do a nice good pile driver. We're going to boop the Lucio back, keep him away from the Sigma, and keep our team pushing forward, keep them distracted, and then grapple when we have it, and then do a big old pile driver attack. That was great. We were able to get the Lucio dead. We got a five player kill streak. It looks like they caught on to my strategy and they're not attacking me anymore. They're realizing that I am staying in the ball and I'm not really doing anything else. So we're going to go into our wrecking ball and we're going to get a pile driver off. This should be a pretty good one. And there we go. We were able to get a good pile drive off. Knock three of them up into the air. There we go. That's what we're talking about. The Hammond play is really coming into fruition here. We're, we're in a symbiotic relationship here, me and their team. Okay, well, never mind. They're, they're drawing their fire on me again. It looks like they're going for me again. So we're going to get a big pile driver off and then we should be able to get a big mind play here. Let's we'll see what we can do. And we did get a big mind play. And there we, you can see I got a kill. I killed the Torborn with one of my mines while I was dead. So with the payload, one thing you can do is use it to get your pile driver off when your hook is down. Now you can see right here, look at that. I just used it to jump on top of the truck, get enough air to actually be able to pull my pile driver off. Soldier 76, once again, did use that opportunity to do some good work. And we did win the game, just like that. And it's all because of the meme handman plays. You can see here, very good game. We did 3,943 damage with 14 eliminations and only two deaths. 3,800 damage mitigated. I have no doubt my team's gonna be talking about this about these meme Hammond plays for the rest of their life you can really see back-to-back -back dubs are possible when you're memeing with Hammond anything is possible the sky's the limit so yeah if you enjoyed the video and it helped you out remember to like and leave a comment down below and subscribe to the channel as it really helps me out and if you have something funny that you want to see me do in the next video that you think would be fun to watch or see me uh see me pull off then let me know in the comments down below I'd love to hear it other than that yeah thank you so much for watching see you guys on the next one